it was with great excitement that my boy Henry, <laughs> Henry Cavill, who is, yes, we did bring Henry over. You can't see him, but he's over there in the corner silently keeping vigil over he's the just studio here. mad dogging Rob right now. He <laughs> really is. I feel nervous. <laughs> so when The Witcher came out, a lot of excitement, but a lot of anxiousness as well. It's like, is this going to be any good? Witcher season one was so good. I mean, it just blew every expectation I had away. I love the way that that whole twist to when you realize the events in the show for the first seven or eight episodes weren't being told in one timeline. They were being told from two different, and then they merged. Like, that was such a great twist they did with that. I loved it. Season two was pretty good. It wasn't as good as season one to me. Season three, quite frankly, was very forgettable. And then came the news that Henry Cavill was out. No more Henry Cavill for The Witcher. And we've got Liam Hemsworth mm -hmm. coming in. Who, by the way, I've met Liam Hemsworth. I've sat down and talked with Liam Hemsworth. Super nice guy. Super sweet. Very nice guy. Not that good of an actor. I, I And I, I always, I, I hate saying stuff like that, but it's my job to talk about movies and how I see them. Uh, super nice guy. Really like him a lot. Not a very good actor so far. But they brought him in to be, you know, take over and fill in uh, Henry Cavill's shoes to be The Witcher. And we've got season four now getting ready to go in production. They've already done their table reads, all that kind of stuff. Well, two bits of news about The Witcher. Number one, Netflix has already greenlit season five. So they're just getting rolling on season four. And they've already greenlit season five. But also, season five is going to be the end of it. This comes from the folks over at Variety who wrote the following. Netflix's fantasy series, The Witcher, has been renewed for season five, which will be the end of the series the streamer announced Thursday morning. It also confirmed that season four is now in production and it will film back to back with season five. Season four will be the first with Liam Hemsworth replacing Henry Cavill as the lead character, Geralt of Rivia. Netflix announced in October 2022 that Cavill would be departing the show after the th third season, which aired in the summer of 2023 in two parts. All right. So I'm going to ask the question that is the proverbial elephant in the room. Uh oh, is anybody even going to watch season four? Now, again, even, let's take out the fact that Henry Cavill is left. Okay. So let's, let's just take that and put that aside for a second. Henry Cavill has gone, but we'll put that aside. The reality is, and this is all a subjective opinion, but I think a lot of people feel this way. The Witcher, the Witcher series has been in decline ever since the first season. I'm not talking about the numbers. I'm talking about quality-wise. Like, again, I loved the first season. I liked the second one. I didn't dislike it. I liked it. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't as good as the first one. And the third season, to me, was really, really quite forgettable. And so, right there, I have a wonder if you should be green-lighting a season five right now, because I'm not even sure a lot of people are going to watch season four, now let's take the Henry Cavill departure off the shelf. The guy that a lot of people watch that show for, Henry Cavill is left. I don't know that Liam Hemsworth has a massive fan following. And so when you pair up, Rob, the decline of the quality of the show over the course of a couple of years with the fact that you now have lost the star who was terrific in the role and... Again, I'm not going to pretend that I've read the entire internet, but every comment I read about Henry departing and them replacing him with Liam Hemsworth hasn't been great. So are they being premature in greenlighting season five? Because again, Rob, I asked the question, is anybody even going to watch season four? What do you think? Well, I think, you know, they, the, here's the thing with these shows that are on streaming services, they have the analytics. Yeah. And they the analytics tell them a lot. And I would say that okay, it is a it is a transition. They are taking a risk by having a new star in the middle of the show, but I think they must know something we don't in greening green lighting another season. And if they do that, I mean for streaming shows, it's not like they're selling advertising. So once they've spent the money, they've done the calculations, they feel that okay, even if nobody watches the show, it makes The Witcher itself something that they can put on their shelves and it has whatever value it has. I mean, if they want to sell it in a syndication, they can. They can do whatever the hell they want with it. But they feel confident enough to give it a fifth season. And I think, you know what? 
if you like the Witcher and you like the universe, you like the games, you like the books, you like, you're going to tune in. I think people are like, ah, I'm not excited about it. But people, if you like the Witcher, I don't think the audience is going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to watch. They're going to test it out. At least they'll test the waters. And I think the people that are making the show know they better do a good job because losing your lead and replacing him, if you don't have the storytelling, you're going to lose people after that first or second episode. They're out. So I would hope that they got to step up their creative game to make this all work. And maybe that's something that they know that we don't. Maybe they have. And I, season five. I will say this, though. The, the one good decision here is, okay, look, if you're determined you're going to do season five, because I already saw some people in the live chat say, well, wait a minute, but if season four doesn't work, just because they say they've greenlit season five doesn't mean they're going to do it. They're shooting it back to back. Yeah. Like season four, they're going to already be in production of season five by the time season four airs. But I will say this. That's probably a smart decision on their part. Like, like if you've already determined, I'm not sure it was smart to green light season five, but if you're determined to do season five and you know, you're going to do it. We've talked a lot, Rob, about the fact that it saves you a lot of headache, hassle and money from a logistical point of view, just to shoot it all at the same time. And so that's probably a good move on their part. So even if the ratings on season four tank, we're still going to get season five because they're shooting it. So guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Liquid IV. You know, summer is just around the corner and Anna and I have some of our favorite activities coming up from hiking, swimming, going camping. But in order to do all that, you got to stay hydrated because you need hydration that keeps up with every moment. Just a single stick of Liquid IV makes ordinary hydration extraordinary. And for me, preparing a glass is the easiest thing in the world. Simply open up a packet, pour it into your glass of water and enjoy. And guys, there's a reason that Liquid IV is the number one powdered hydration brand in America. It has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink. Just tear, pour, and live more. Just one stick plus 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. With eight vitamins and nutrients, non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. There's no artificial colors or sweeteners, and it's got four delicious sugar-free flavors. White peach, green grape, raspberry melon, and lemon lime. So turn your ordinary water into extraordinary hydration with Liquid IV. Get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code CAMPIA at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop better hydration today using promo code CAMPIA at liquidiv.com. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this little piece of news that they have greenlit season five before season four has even really got well into production and that they're going to shoot it back to back? Are you a fan of The Witcher? If so, how have you felt about the quality consistency from season one to season three? There are some people I'm sure probably love season three. Are you worried about the fact that Henry Cavill's gone, Liam Hemsworth is coming in? Maybe you really like Liam Hemsworth's work. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.